What's going on, YouTube? It is Cosmos here, bringing you another episode in the series of the Solo Q Ranked Joust 2GM, which is 3,500 MMR with a certain number of wins, I do believe. I haven't checked it in a bit, but uh, I imagine that's what it is still. Today, we are going to be playing Bologna. Uh, we didn't have any god requests just yet, so... You know, like I said, we do, or we are doing the entirety of this series live on Twitch. There will be a link to my Twitch channel in the description at twitch.tv slash Cosmosaur. But this game, I kind of got the pick for myself. Got a little bit of counter pick action. We were first pick. We grabbed an Uller, and they grabbed a Ganesh Pele, and I grabbed Bologna, which is a tanky character with carry potential that is very annoying for Pele to deal with, especially, and I don't get too impacted by Ganesh. He obviously is not my favorite guy to go against, but I can play around it more so than a lot more of these ability-based warriors, such as, like, Nike, such as Kakolin, Tyr, you know, King Arthur, that type of thing. So I ended up going to Bologna because it not only has solo Q carry potential, but I can kind of fulfill a number of roles in terms of I can be a damage dealer and a tank at the same time. And I have good matchups, like specifically against the Pele. So, that's what I was looking for with this pick. Hopefully, it will translate in the game. Good luck. Alright, thanks, Papa Melt. Enjoy your holiday. There is no place like home for the holidays. Get me out, please. Wait, did he do that because I picked Bologna? Or did he do that when he our guy picked Anubis? Only fans win. Never. Alright. Nine adds is a curse is for sure, Hefefla. Alright, so I am a solo frontline Bologna, which is obviously not my favorite thing. But we are going to go damage anyway. Because heck it. Okay. So we're going Eye of the Jungle or Death's Toll. Get a little bit more power. A little bit more straight up health out of the death toll. It'll be a little nicer in a fight. But the Eye of the Jungle will allow me to have control over jungle camps. Or pressuring jungle camps, specifically when I'm alone. And that will be really nice. So I'm going to load up on potions. Get that going. I'm going to go three health pots, in fact. And one multi. Because I don't expect to be using a ton of mana here. I think I could go a beads to start out. Or I could go shell. Shall it be good too? I'll go beads. And I'll go carapace shard. Seven, the sturdy stew. Get one of everything. And I'll be looking for either the purple buff or the red buff, depending on what they allow me to go to. Anubis looks like he wants to solo this purple. So I'll let him do that. In middle lane. Never trust in Anubis players. Alright, if they're both going to go there, then I'll go here. I guess he said that about the Anubis then. He hates Anubis. Understood. Alright, did they do the red? They did. Ooh. Returned a ton of damage there. Probably shouldn't have used my multi pot just yet. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, their blue is up. I would love to go contest that. I am Bologna early game. I have 25 extra prots of each with my passive right now. So I just want to punish them as hard as I can. I really wish I had two points in my bludgeon right now. That's okay. Suck the way for the wall. Get a T2 and get the heck out of there. Efficient back. Should be able to make it for this next wave. Welcome back, Hefefla. I'm level 3. Not feeling great about that, but surely I'll get at least one minion here. Those minions are tanky. Wish I could have got that blue buff from them. Unfortunate. Rank 2 bludgeon will hit a lot harder than the rank 1. Nice. Good little Axington. Our Uller resume. That's okay. He has a sentry ward, Jesus. He's not messing around. So I got this beads to get a big bludgeon out when they think they're gonna be able to stop it. Okay. 
That's also a silence. If I can just get his silence with my bludgeon every single time like that, that actually works out in my favor, I would say. I would much rather have him using that very, very impactful ability on that than anything else. Like, if I really need to get the bludgeon up, I'll bead, so not too worried about it. Okay. Just keep whacking him. I want to wait, man, but kind of rough. Kind of just stalling. Don't really want to use any gold in terms of potions. This guy actually kind of has a head on his shoulders. It's a GM1 and a Fierno guy. Alright, the enemies also have their ults. If I see a fight coming, I'll probably pop my health pot before we fight. But I'm just sustaining up in the jungle here, using my Eye of the Jungle to my advantage. I got 42 HP 5 while in the jungle. I'm looking real good. I really want to back and buy this, uh... Atalanta. I kind of wish I didn't spend all this money now. I'm cool with giving up Reddick. Because I just want kill potential, man. I want to slay someone. I can clean house on purple or blue, and if they get a steal, they get a steal, so... That would be good for me. I'll be going like the same exact build that I go on her along here. With a possible item adjustment here and there. Okay, they did get the red. Oh, we got the red. I'll be looking to do something freaky here. Okay. I've drawn blood first. Monk. And there it is. Winning the early game hard. Using the early game build. The Atalanta spike. So, so good at this stage. I have kill potential on pretty much anyone. Oh, no. Don't have blink. I should have blink. I could have leaned harder into that and probably gotten it. But that's okay. Not like I died for it or anything, so. Feeling fine. Okay, got this. Level 7 soon. I'm pretty sure the purple is down. The Kakulkan ulted it, so. <laughs> but Pelly is kind of shading like she wants to go over there. I don't know if it's like on the ground or what. Oh, it isn't dead. Okay, nice. I'm looking to go in. Four hundred seventy eight, huh? Yep, you can't tell me this god is bad after seeing that, right? 478 on the swing down is crazy. Sheesh. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, this guy gets 25% uh, increased damage per god hit, and I hit all three of them. And I came down swinging. Was I still in my ult there, too? No way, dude. I'm depressed now. Huh? Okay, we out. Put a ward here. Shoving them back is good for me, as far as possible. And this is Bologna. Bologna's early game is incredibly strong. That's enough. If you think this god is bad, look no further than this game to find that she is not. Okay, now I've got damage percent increase on the Runeforge, damage percent increase from my bludgeon. This thing is going to be cooking people. I kind of wish I didn't use my beads, though. I really thought the Ganesh was going to cancel his silence and dash me. 
That's okay, though. So Uller wants us to wait for him, but he won't wait for us? It sounds demonic. Oh, okay. 365, he is very weak right now. And that is the snowball. Something that you can very much achieve with a Bologna and an Uller. Very, very powerful. Look how hard I hit, dude. Actually, the animal. Wish you the best of luck on your stacks, man. Woo! This thing's dead. Our early snowball is actually insane with a team like this. Kind of wish I went for that purple, actually. I believe it's kind of a mistake. Okay, we got the Chesters in case we need to run here. But, might as well try for it. I don't think there are enemies coming. I got no idea. Yup. And there's that snowball. Keep it rolling. Out in the way, bro. Out my... I am level 10, so I'll go grab a 500 pot here, actually. And I think I'm going to go Toxic Blade, in fact. I'll go Rune Breaking right now. Yeah, this will be good. Mm, we are just mega snowballed right now. I got to keep it going. Once, once again, we do have three gods that are very strong in the early game. And especially when they get a lead like this, it becomes a bit hard to deal with, you could say. Okay. okay, I got the ult ready to go. I'm looking to just ult in on anyone that I can find it on, honestly. Just rune breaking them with my three and then ult them. Once I have the distance. Honestly, probably best on Pele. Okay. Should be okay here. Oh, she could totally ult me here. Why is she not? No idea. <laughs> mm. Ring breaking the elephant man? Kind of trying to be careful ish of the Pele. Letting the team do what they want to do. Oh, Anubis is dead. She might ult in here. I have good ways to stop her from doing anything, though. I want to hold my three, in fact. She tries for it. It is very early in the game, so. Not doing a whole bunch with this. Okay. She still has her pellet ult. Oh, no, she ulted away from me, right? Yeah. No! That silence got me good. Tried to ult. Unfortunate. Well, good for them. Good for them. Good play by them. Yeah, he's level 12. Should be out. Nice, yeah. He is mega out. Oh, her ult's back up. I kept... Dude, I don't know how I forgot that she ulted away from me earlier. <laughs> I was just like, I had to play very carefully around this Pele ult that she didn't have. A little awkward. A little awkward. I might just go like an Aegis this game, bro. Or I could just get um, Frenzy. Probably a better option. So I am a little Frenzy action. We want the purple buff. We didn't even pick up the red. It's kind of awkward. Give me that. That's mine. Okay, cocky. Come on and hit me. Did he just get that kill with blue stone? <laughs> okay, now we poke this titan as much as possible. Okay. 
<laughs> Killed her with the wind-up. <laughs> well, she kids me, but I got her. Take that. Oh, Anubis. Oh, Anubis. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> he hit the axe and missed everything else. <laughs> and now Anubis is dead, too. And the Phoenix is going to spawn. All right, well. If they weren't back in the game before, they are certainly back in the game now. So I can get either Sprint or Frenzy. Sprint would be better for killing people, obviously. But I think Frenzy is actually a better buy here. That will do well enough. That will do well enough. I definitely need to get some tankiness online so that we can actually hit the Titan. And, like, not have every single person on our team fearing it. Fearing its impact against us. This Kakulkan's a little big. That's the only issue right now. I could alternatively just go sprint here. Or not sprint, XE. I don't know what the LA is doing. They're smart, they'll just camp this out. Wait for us to make an air. This is a throw by them. They actually lose the game off this. No, I ran on the good Eshel, but she dies. Her going back in actually is really bad for them. Yeah, I did hear her go over there with her three when I was coming up mid, but I didn't think she'd actually go for that. Glad I checked it. It would be so good for them to get a little poke on the Titan here. So good. They got 15 seconds and he has no ult. You should just poke it, dude. Just ignore him and poke the Titan. You're not going to kill him very quickly. And now the guys are coming. <laughs> okay, man. Alright, screw it. I'm getting Nexi. Who needs tank items when I could just win the game? Alright, well, I can't fight their whole team, but... Mm, it's not great. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. Run. I'll grab this. Wait for this. I honestly can fight them. I can. <laughs> and that's Bologna. <laughs> okay, now get this guy. Pull him out. Don't make me take this Titan, bro. <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved to attack the Titan, but that won't be happening. I'm taking this buff, bro. I'm surrounded by Botskis. Uh, should I get Wingblade? I feel like Wingblade would be good. Or... I guess I get a mantle. A fine bit of protection. A fine bit of protection. This guy really did buy Midgardian Bewitched Jagger, didn't he? Holy flip. He is so worried about me killing everybody. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I will kill everybody. But I think that's a bit of a waste for him. That Titan's Omega low in it. In it. In it. Worried about me back ignoring you? I do have Xe here. I want to get this wave. Retreat, defend. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna keep repeat what he says. Well Alright. Should definitely get this fire. I got relics in 30. Got a mantle now. Getting a little bit better. Ganesh paying a lot of attention to me, which is correct. Know your enemy. Rally here! And they lose. And now I do my Bologna thing to Pele. Absorbing all of her ult autos. Oh, he has failed not. Bologna, by the way. And see, like if I really wanted to climb to GM quickly, I would just play god gods like this every game. Because that's just the impact they have. Is there no one else? So if you don't have Bologna in the pool... Get blown in the pool, fellas. God's pretty good. Oh, you're unbearable. Now that I can agree with you there. In the shadows. Sassinos. Mighty Z dude, that, that has to be Ziz Khalil, right? Like who else who else would be that? Alright, 37 for that. Not that big, but we do climb a little bit. Go. Plat 2. Oh, Plat 2. We're climbing. You now Plat 2, 2243. So far, seem to be having a lot of success playing these characters that uh, can be a little tanky, but also be a bit damagey. I haven't loved that we're not going, like, you know, an actual tank alongside it, but they don't know that I'm going damage. I suppose I should, like, select, like, Assassin or something. I might pick the character. But, yeah, that's Bologna for you. She goes hard. She goes hard. Her early game is just so good. Like, Bologna used to be... Just like her three non-ultimate abilities were so, so, so good. And they still are good. But her passive and her ult make her so crazy impactful now. It's a big team fight swing from that ult. When you level the ult up, you get 100 extra damage for leveling it. So that's why I was leveling it as often as I could. And that passive gives you 25 of each protection and lasts for 7 seconds. That's a long time. So, like, even if you, like, use your, like, your one and then you run, you run away with it, like, that one will last on you for 7 seconds. And if you get into combat, it, the 7 seconds will reset. So, like, for me, at least, Bologna's ult and passive have kind of made her much stronger and she feels really good. Now, like, before it was just, like, Ah, my bludgeon hits you for 5 billion. My 3 will disarm you for a year and I'll get massive 100 heals from it. But now, like, the character is... She's changed a bit. She's kind of like, uh, reminds me of Erlong. Where she's strong, but for different reasons than she used to be. So definitely, uh, check this character out. Hope you guys enjoyed that solo queue to GM game on the Bologna. This is definitely one of those characters that if I really wanted to climb fast, this would be one of them. And we didn't have any requests, so I decided to break it out, you know? Get a little bit of a, a character that can play the front line, can play the back line. That's kind of your ideal scenario. As a solo cure, you just have kill potential on anyone. And Bologna is definitely one of those gods. So, GG! Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. If you want to watch these all happen live, slash you want to request some characters for me to play, check out the Twitch channel. There'll be a link to that in the description. We're playing all of these games of the Solo Q to GM series on the Twitch stream. So until next time, guys, peace.